Lancaster Dragway, east of Buffalo, New York. I'm the Monday Morning Racer, Lee Craft, and we're going to be looking at some supercharged Bounty Hunter action. Now, these cars are some old school robots, about 2,500 horsepower. They're doing a Chicago style race event. They're aiming for the fastest ET out here tonight at Lancaster Dragway. Hope you enjoy the footage from MMR. Alessandro does 144 miles an hour. O'Connell got out of it. Cruz. So in lane one at 161 miles an hour, and a 757 at 57.75 uh, is going on.
Okay. Monday morning racer here live in the pits at Lancaster Dragway. We caught up with Jack Graney, the pilot of this beautiful Pro Mod Camaro. Jack, look, how long have you been doing this drag racing thing? Um, probably since 1966 I started doing it when I first got my license. I'm 69 right now. 69, been doing it since 1966. Wow. So as things have progressed from where you started to now, tell me, how crazy is it to be in a pro mod these days? Oh, this is the best, man. You don't get any better than this thing if you want to ride. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to explain what it is, but it, it's a violent car. Awesome. Yeah, it'll let you know what it's got. Awesome. And we saw that here on your first pass. I know a lot of folks have been talking. You're kind of the heavy hitter in the field coming on the scene today automatically, but went out there and looked like you had some tire shake or something. Yeah, yeah. we just had the blower rebuilt. Mike Janice just did a little update on it. And that was kind of, we guessed at that tune up. Tried to calm it down a little bit. We got a lot of heat in the track. We guessed wrong. It had, it had too much. So we'll go in there now. We'll change the timing curve on it to calm it down a little bit more and give it another shot. Awesome. Well, Jack, look, we hope you do well the rest of the night. Get it figured out. We know you got some bigger events coming up. Yeah. All the way like Empire Dragway on August 17th. Huge pro mod yeah, event. That's gonna be a so we hope you do well there and have a good test session basically here. And next Saturday night is the night of fire at Norwalk. We plan we're gonna go to that. Awesome. So Grady Brothers be at Norwalk for Night of Fire and then Empire Dragway for and their a, crazy event. And a lot of other good cars too. So awesome, awesome. Thank you, Jack. Hey, you're welcome. Monday morning racer in the pits here at Lancaster Dragway caught up with Frank Malvoso. Frank, and your round one pass was pretty good tell us about it well hi everybody uh, we're having a great time here at Lancaster uh, we had a real good first round we turned the car up a little because we knew it was going to be a formidable field here tonight the track temperatures are nice and warm the sun's been out all day so we put some power to it with the Janssen supercharger uh, we uh, went a 439 ET at 161 and I lifted just a little bit early probably would have had a better mile an hour um, 103 60 foot which is the best for a first pass uh, it, it was a good time the wheels were up pretty good I felt it I was looking at the sky a little bit for the first second or so but uh, yeah we we're real happy with that pass we had a good field there we got Grady Brothers come out with their pro mod Gary O'Connell with his Corvette Chuck McMahon with his Firebird uh, head knocker team with the wild side with the uh, Nova and uh, Rick Renata and son, uh, the uh, Yanko Nova that Vito Antonicelli just finished the uh, chassis on. It's a real nice car. So uh, we expect some low ETs out of him once he gets it sorted. He's had two passes down the track, the Yanko, and it's a real nice car. Um, but uh, next round, we'll see what the guys do. They're going to dial it up a little bit. Uh, we had some breakage. Uh, Wild Side Chevelle looks like they uh, broke their motor. They got the oil pan out now. I don't think they'll make it for a second round. And uh, Gary O'Connell looks like he broke his brakes. Looks like he broke his crankshaft. So it's going to be an interesting second round here. The way we juggle the cars around, uh, everybody's turning them up. So uh, hang on to your seats and hope for the best. So Frank, you're basically the ringleader of this outfit, the Supercharged Bounty Hunters. So tell me, where do you hope the Supercharged Bounty Hunters program will get in time? Well, I'd like to see us go uh, outside of New York and hit some other tracks. Uh, we plan on getting some double eight gassers in uh, next time, was on the 30th. So we should have at least 11 or 12 cars, I hope, in our field next time. So uh, it should be good with the gassers. I always like the double eight gassers, the old willies. They're true metal cars, the gassers of the 60s. And some of them cars can run 480s and 8s, so, you know, or faster. So that'd be interesting if we can get them next month. Um, but I'd like to see this. Uh, we've been approached by different tracks, and uh, we'll see if we get some new bookings for next year. I'm hopeful. All right, Frank, man, thank you. Hope the night still goes well for you and all the other competitors here at some supercharged bounty hunter action. Thank you, man. Okay, thank you. Wheels up.
McMahon looked like he was about out of control at 150 miles an hour. Definitely been wall pizza. Frank Malvaso at 123. an hour to 463. Rick Granada, nice run.
other end. Mike Nowak takes Swinarski in the top eight. Mike Nowak will go into top. Now takes it. Burner's been hot all night. Jennifer ain't no slouch. Jennifer in the F-150. Burn in the 14 Challenger. The Granny's Automotive Lane and the Franco's Pizza Lane. Ready to go. And here it goes. Ready to the red. Better reaction time for Burn. Who will be the winner? It's a breakout for both of them, and Fern will take the win and the ring. DJ Raider won it twice in a row. Now, Dread City Discount Tire Street final. DJ Razor He broke out, and uh, Maduri will take the win. Mason Fix. Woo.